In this next video, using the LogoPress 3 die simulation function, I'm going to show how to animate a cam pierce unit that has a rotational trigger. First, I'll come over to the components to animate section and select the last sequence in the list and then add another sequence below that. Then I select what I would like to animate, what component. I will select the trigger. Then I select what motion type I would like to use. I'm going to use contact rotation. I'll put focus in the contact entity that gives the motion box. And I'll select the edge of the driver that contacts the trigger. The next box is the contact entity that receives the motion. And that'll be the radius edge of the trigger. The next box is select the rotation axis. And I'll just select the cylindrical edge of the pivot point. This rotational trigger has a limitation as, uh, as to how many degrees it can rotate. So I am going to enter a value that would limit the maximum motion range. This is in the forward direction, and this box right here is in the reverse direction. And we want to, want to limit its motion in the reverse direction because it's actually going to move this way as the tool opens. So I'll activate this option and type in R degrees. And then I'm also going to select this option, Ascent Descent Symmetry, because we want symmetrical motion as the, as the uh, press opens and closes. At this point, we can press play and animate our tool. And you can see that the trigger is animating correctly, but the punch is not moving along with it. Uh, so we have to add another motion, another sequence to animate this, because this is a linear motion. So I'm going to select Stop. And I'm going to rename this sequence that we just created just so that we keep everything, we understand what each sequence is doing. And then I'll add another sequence below it. And for this, the component that I want to animate is going to be the punch. The type of translation our motion type is going to be contact translation. Then we're going to put focus in this box to select the contact entity that gives the motion. And that is going to be this radius edge of the punch or trigger, I should say. Then I'll select the contact entity that receives the motion. And that could be this face or edge of the punch. But this edge is not linear. And so what I did beforehand is I created a sketch within the punch and converted this edge to it. So I'll just show my sketches. And I'll select this sketch edge. And that's going to receive the motion. Then the last one is the direction that is going to feed. And for that, I am going to select the uh, axis of the punch. I can now hide the sketches and axes. 
And for this, we do not have to restrict the, the motion range because this is going to move only with the contact of the trigger. I can now select play. I forgot to select the ascent descent symmetry. And now when I select play, you can see that the punch is moving in and out with the trigger. But look at the contact with the head. We have to make an adjustment here. We have to select this icon, reverse the contact. And now you can see when I select play that the contact is correct. And our cam pierce unit with the rotational trigger is now animated correctly.